This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Luisa Patera. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. I didn't really want to film today because I have these like two little pimples. I'm not in high school anymore. Why do I still get pimples? I don't like it. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Insecurities Review. I mean, uh, fish tank review. Uh, I just bought these fishies today. There's a Pokemon card for some reason in there. Oh, looks like all these new fishies you got today are dead. That's a big pile of fishies right there. That's impressive that all these fishies are dead and you just got them. We're gonna have to go Professor Layton on this. Some Sherlock Holmes style right here. Let's do it. So judging by the fact that they said they got these fishies today and that they got artificial decor, the water is kind of murky. So either this fish tank is super brand new and not cycled or they tried to cycle it, but the new tank syndrome is staying. I'm gonna go with my first gut instinct, which is they just set it up. Uh, it hasn't been properly cycled at all. There has been no attempt. Now, if we're going with that hypothesis, the biggest clue that we have looking around the whole tank is that there are no bubbles at all. The lack of bubbles sticking to surfaces like the glass or the artificial plants. When it's a newly set up tank, you see bubbles like this. Until maybe a few days later where they dissipate. The cooler the water is, the more dissolved oxygen will be in the water. The hotter it is, the more entropy happening in the water, chemistry 11 stuff, which means more oxygen will escape the water. So there's not gonna be that many bubbles clinging onto surfaces. Long story short, I think the water is way too warm in this tank because clearly this tank is a new tank without any bubbles. That screams way too warm of a water. My dude over here, boiling all these feeder fish alive. And I did look in the comments real quick in the Reddit section. Apparently the owner is killing these feeder fish so that they could feed their turtle with it. Bruh. So many weird illogical things happening here. First of all, how many turtles do you have? It seemed like they only had the one turtle by how the comment was phrased. One turtle, I don't care what kind of turtle it is, is not gonna eat all that feeder fish. That's a lot of wasted lives, basically. There is a protein or enzyme that goldfish produce that are very bad for other animals eating it, it's making goldfish actually one of the worst feeder animals out there. Hey guys, this episode is sponsored by Rapashi. Oh no. Just kidding, Rapashi can't sponsor anything because she has no money and she's poor. Ooh. Hey guys, quick pause. The sponsor of this week's FTR is Digiten. Digiten is a company that makes innovative aquarium products and today they would like to show off their thermometers and I can see why. These thermometers are probably the most slick and modern ones I've seen so far. They are cordless and simple, have a large transparent LCD screen that I spent way too much time playing around with. They provide high accuracy temperature readings, they're super easy to use, and they work on all types of aquariums. Not to mention, they actually do not go into the aquarium at all. Installation is simply placing it wherever you want, and voila. They're easy to take off as well if you want to relocate them and leave no marks or residue whatsoever. With this design comes my favorite part of it all. This thermometer takes advantage of the properties of glass and hides itself 100% from the preferred viewing angle of your fish tank. Just like my hand here, this thermometer simply cannot be seen. It basically leaves zero footprint. Also, it has a temperature alarm. This means that it will notify you when the temperature goes higher or lower than the threshold you set it to. That's a first for me in the aquarium thermometer technology. Not only are they clean, modern, and easy to hide, they do more than just telling you the temperature. They're an extra layer of safety for your fish. So go ahead and get one for yourself with the affiliate links in the description and comments. They're quite affordable and I hope you'll enjoy them as much as I do. Found this pour silver aroma a uh, at a Chinese restaurant, I believe it was a 30 or 40 gallon. The aroma uh, looked miserable. All right, so it's an arowana, and this guy is probably typing on his phone. Got automatically spelled to aroma, uh, which actually sounds like some, I don't know. I feel like Nintendo or Game Freak can turn that into a Pokemon. Wait, has there, is there actually no arowana type Pokemon yet? Yeah. Outrageous, isn't it, Rapashi? I mean, Huntail? Huntail doesn't really count. It's a saltwater. It's oceanic. For the life of me, I can't think of an arowana type Pokemon, which I don't know why they don't have it. The arowana looks like a Pokemon on itself. This isn't even that bad of a tank. That's the sad part. This is one of the better tanks I've seen at a Chinese restaurant, because at least it's not filled to the brim with 
20 blood parrot cichlids, or 50 goldfish, single tail, or 10 aromaa. Animal rescuer, YouTuber, oh gosh, adding axolotl to an uncycled aquarium that's been set up for 20 minutes. Clown face. Clown face well-deserved emoji, yes, agreed. That also looks like a sand or very fine substrate. I feel like that's a big no-no for axolotls if I know anything about axolotls from the comments section letting me know. Axolotls arguably need even more pristine water, so definitely a psychoed tank because the waste produced by the axolotl being introduced to it is going to have nowhere to dissipate. There's going to be no beneficial bacteria colonies trying to take care of that, at least not enough right at the beginning. 20 minutes is an absurd amount of time to let your tank run before putting in live stock. Some animal rescuer that guy is. I swear, if you got label yourself an animal rescuer and you're not one of those people going out into a forest fire or into a house fire or a tsunami wreckage and trying to find the dogs that are super scared and trying to bite you if you approach it with a lasso and, and getting them into a animal shelter. Don't call yourself an animal rescuer. Like what are you, how are you actually rescuing them? I catch myself saying that. Sometimes I'm like, I rescued this betta. Oh, oh really Chris? Did you, did you really rescue the betta? Did you not just drive in your air conditioned car down to some person's house who posted it on Craigslist and you got a free tank sometimes with it as well? Did you really rescue the betta Chris? I feel like Rapashi's disses are finally rubbing off on me. Don't worry guys, I don't hate myself. I'm just saying, I'm pretty cringe when I say I rescued a betta fish. Maybe adopted. Adopted is a much better word. What is this? Can I not? When Cheers tells you to not scream at the guy with 10 male bettas in a mason jar. Ah, uh, what kind of animal is that? Is that Nina from Full Metal Alchemist? Too soon. Imagine being this bad at stuffing animals. You invent a new species. I guess that's some sort of accomplishment. Yeah, this is probably a meme made because of my what not to say to fish abusers. Basically don't like, don't make them upset by calling them a fish abuser or calling them names or being angry and shouting at them because then they'll just retreat. They will just feel like they're, they are attacked, which they are. You are technically attacking them verbally if you are too aggressive with it. And then it becomes this, I need to protect my ego. I don't want this guy telling me what to do. So it's not even about the fish anymore at that point. Pest course submission by Miyaka Nova. This is a separated beta tank. You got a female Male betta, very cute and uh, uh, light colored. And we have a male betta on the other side. It's a blue and red betta fish. I love the giant valis. I always prefer not to do divider stuff. I just get another tank if I could. There are many benefits to that because like, for example, if one betta fish gets sick, well, they're in the same water as the other one. 3.7 out of five, keep it up, Miyaka. Three poor goldfish, my cousin's aquarium. I don't even know how to describe this. It even has a built-in chimney. <laughs> I mean, the fish know what's up. They got priorities man what if santa claus comes around and you don't got a chimney man stay ready steal it man the dude actually wasted his money to kill those poor goldfish steal it or clean it okay i just have to I, in addition to these comments to steal their something that's not theirs i posted a video about a girl stealing a betta fish from a store like maybe a month ago something like that there were a, an alarming amount okay most of the comments were normal and like, dude, why, why she gotta steal it? And why is she swearing so much in the video? There is a small but still alarming amount of people who are like, I don't see anything wrong with, uh, with how she stole the betta fish from the store. I don't see anything wrong with stealing. Are you sure about that? I'm sorry, I can't get behind supporting an actual crime. And another really big reason is why would you stoop down to that level. Every time you steal something, that's on you. That's on your conscience forever. You have to live with that. The bonus secret comment of this episode is substrate. Pest course submission by Natalia Nike. I feel like this is a re-submission and well, here we are. So yeah, beautiful short fin betta fish. Man, I just have a soft spot for all short fins. That's, that's amazing. I think this is a fluval spec. It sure is specked out. I love that centerpiece wood. Are you kidding me? That is some pretty darn nice hardscape. It's got a darker tone to it. Betta fish actually love a darker tank. You've got the floaters up top. You got some ballastinaria growing pretty well. You got moss attached onto the 
beautiful wood piece. There's a black water sort of foresty theme feeling here. 4.4 out of 5. Keep it up, Natalia. My friend, spare plants. That raccoon is actually, it would actually be me if, uh, if any of my friends had a fish tank or, you know, is into the fish tank hobby. I don't think anyone, especially not in the live plants. Either they don't own a fish tank or they do, but they haven't gotten to that live planted tank level. Come on, man. Somebody else step it up, man. Pet score submission by Nick N. Wow, look at the floaters up top. That's amazing. And you got this like feeding ring so that, you know, you can still feed uh, your ember tetras and your cherry shrimp. Choya wood doing work for the shrimp. Choya wood is amazing because it's, it provides so much space and surface area for the uh, shrimp to graze on. Cleanscape, rimless, good stuff, man. 4.35 out of five, keep it up. Saw this poor thing on Facebook story popped up on my feed with a song named Cute Thing. The only thing cute about that is, I don't know where I was going with that, but it just sounded good to say it. The only thing cute about that is me. I'm just gonna give you a quick pause so that you can throw up. Eunice Shafiq sent this in on Petscord, and it's a thing of beauty, okay? Clean tank, bright, clean lights, shining down on a very, very beautiful, Aquascape. We got some lily pipe action. I'm not 100% sure if this has CO2, Dutch style uh, inspired aquarium, although I do see some hardscape, but you know what? Why limit yourself to a certain style, right? Love the different textures, the different bundles of plants growing together, and the colors as well. Beautiful carpet as well, very successful carpet of probably Monte Carlo. This is getting my five out of five. It's been a while since we got five out of five, so congratulations. Monster Mike Fishing. I strapped a GoPro on a fish. Test course submission by Yumili Song. A little bit of a blurry image, but you know what? I'm not judging cameras here, I'm judging the fish tank. That bet, that's a dark betta. Those are super edgy. Yumili Song, you're an edgelord. Just kidding. I love a black betta fish though, really cool. I think you also got some dither fish. Uh, looks like either white cloud or glow light tetra. That's probably 100% glow light. I'm trying to get some carpet action with some java moss. Interesting uh, choice of carpet, but uh, I'm glad it's working out for you, kind of. It's It looks like it's spreading. Just my issue with java moss and carpets gets a little bit dirty because there's gonna be fish poop and fish flakes that just get intertwined into it. It's hard to gravel back it up. Four out of five, keep it up. Six goldfish for sale. Yo, that is literally what I meant with the other fish tank review and I say this all the time. If you are a gold colored fish, you're screwed. You're extra screwed. You don't even have to be a goldfish. These fish abusers don't know the half of it. They don't know the difference. Clearly portrayed here, are these really goldfish? They can't be more different from goldfish. Uh, ignorance is bliss, I guess. Looking to rehome six goldfishes. Just the poor people who fall for this crap. They're gonna buy it thinking it's a goldfish, and these guys are, oh, trust me, they're 100% different. Will come with tank, filter, decorations, and everything you need to keep them going. Everything but the correct info, right? Imagine Imagine selling a desk as a chair and people buying it. I know who's not a queen, this person selling these fish, and they'll never be a queen or a king. So, human, is it a deal? Trade offer. I receive a nice comfy home. You receive indoor fins. <laughs> indoor fins. <laughs> okay, okay, got me there. That was really good. That was really, really good. Trade accepted, no questions asked. Guys, welcome to the end of the video. End of the video club, what's up? Thank you for boosting that algorithm, making this video and this channel go to new heights. I really appreciate all your support. I hope you did enjoy this Monday's FTR and I hope that it helped your Monday and your week start off just right. This video's secret comment is Arowana. Look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that with my shoal axe. Cure my fin rod from Carisiformis to Parachirodon, hold on There's not another fish that you can wish for Live fam says I finna one, I finna gone Three days without fur, I'm an addict like fanatic I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt We came to play, came to silence, gang